2023 has already seen gaming laptops become bigger and bolder. However, while everyone is going all in on 18-inch displays, Lenovo is bringing all the performance of Raptor Lake's 55W HX series processors and the new 175W 40 series graphics in a smaller 16-inch chassis. First off, Lenovo is kind enough to give you replaceable button mechanisms and keycaps in the box, as well as a plastic tool for doing the whole operation. Keeping up with Legion traditions, the Pro 7 has a sleek and minimalist aluminum chassis with superb durability. The laptop is rectangular in appearance, but there's still RGB around the place, especially the strip on the bottom panel. The new heat vents have diamond-shaped cutouts which also look interesting. The laptop has a profile of 25.9mm while weighing 2.8kg, making for a heavy notebook that needs a sturdy bag and a fit owner. The keyboard and touchpad are among the best that we've seen on a laptop. The board not only has per-key RGB backlighting, but tons of key travel and satisfyingly clicky feedback. The touchpad is large and smooth as well. We noticed some issues with the responsiveness, however, it felt like a software problem that should be easily resolved. The port selection is staggering, as it's so much that it needs the space on the left and right, as well as the back. The left side has one USB Type-A 3.2 Generation 1 port and a Thunderbolt 4 port. On the back, there's the power plug, two more USB Type-A ports, an HDMI 2.1 port, one USB Type-C 3.2 Generation 2 port, and a LAN port. Lastly, on the right side, there's the fourth USB Type-A port, the audio jack, and a switch for the shutter. There's only one display available, but it's so good that you don't have to look for anything else. The 16-inch QHD Plus IPS display supports G-Sync, Dolby Vision, and Display HDR 400, all of which make for a great gaming and media-consuming experience. The panel gets really bright, up to 552 nits, while showing 98% sRGB coverage, so you can get busy with video editing and graphic design on the side. If you plan on that, don't forget our design and gaming profile, which improves color accuracy, giving you the almost perfect Delta E value of 1.0. We'll leave our profiles linked down below. Lenovo is partnering with Harman for the audio setup of the Legion Pro 7, and it doesn't disappoint. While all speakers are found on the bottom, they produce really good sound, with no significant deviations across the frequency range, while the max volume is high as well. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. Finally, we get to the good parts. With a 24-core Intel Core i9-13900HX, you get all the computing power you need. In benchmarks, the Legion 7 Pro shows less performance than both the MSI Raider GE78HX and the Asus ROG Strix Scar 18. The laptop is still insanely fast, it's just that the other two are faster. The 175 watts RTX 4080 is very competitive with the one inside the MSI device as well as the new Helios 18 from Acer. However, it's best if you show some real-world scenarios in games. We test on an external Full HD 1080p monitor, so the FPS on the QHD Plus display of the Legion 7 can be a smidge lower, but you'll still have a great time. In God of War, for example, we get 157 frames per second on the Ultra preset. Mother, do I see my mother? Oh, there, do I see my father? Oh, there, do they call to me? Oh, there, do they call to me? Far Cry New Dawn also runs very well, reaching 137 frames per second on ultra settings.
If you prefer exploring a dystopian Earth, Death Stranding is the game for you. The RTX 4080 is able to run the game at 192 frames per second on the very high preset. The task of cooling the laptop is left in the hands of a large vapor chamber with two fans. It does a very good job at keeping the CPU running at high wattages, spiking up to 171 watts for a few seconds, while being able to maintain 137 watts for more than 15 minutes. On the side of the GPU, the RTX 4080 maintains 174 watts without a problem, while keeping a clock speed of more than 2400 MHz. The high power limits do mean extra heat, which bleeds into the base, heating it up to 51 degrees Celsius in certain hotspots. This isn't a laptop oriented towards efficiency, so even with a huge 99.99 watt hours battery pack, we get around 6 hours and 40 minutes of web browsing, or 5 hours and 58 minutes of video playback. Lastly, the inside of the laptop houses two SODIMM slots for up to 64GB of DDR5 memory of up to 6000MHz. For storage, there are two M.2 slots that support the faster generation for SSDs. Both the RAM and storage slots are covered by metal brackets that should help with lowering the temperatures. You can check out our teardown video, which shows how to open the laptop for upgrades and maintenance, cleaning, repairs, and more. The Lenovo Legion Pro 7 keeps the Legion traditions going, offering a sleek twist on the gaming notebook formula. It's not alone in its quest for performance, so while you can get other powerful laptops, some even more powerful, there's nothing like the package that Lenovo's got going, so it's certainly a strong contender in the space for 2023. Don't forget to check out our detailed review on our website laptopmedia.com.